What is going on guys? This video today is going to be showcasing the Savior Equipment Urban Warfare Tactical Range Bag. So I do have it kind of loaded right now. I did encounter some issues with how I would want to pack it, uh, but that's kind of easily alleviated by just carrying an ammo can. So we'll just kind of go through what's here on the top. And this pouch here, these are pretty big. I have two sets of Ear Pro in here in this pouch because whenever I do go to the range, my wife does like to come with and shoot as well. And then this pocket, I have three mags for my pistol. And I know I, I'm pretty sure I have four mags, but either way. And then this pocket here, I have just a couple of cleaning utensils that I would use to adjust my sights and quick clean the barrel. And there are other places I would put those as well. So we'll just put this in here for now. And then this pocket over here, I do have uh, two box mags for my uh, box fed shotgun. All right, top pocket, or top compartment. So we have two little zipper areas here that you can put some stuff in. This is just my pistol lock, trigger lock, and then this again, some extra sets of ear pro, and then toolkit, and then bore sights and quick reload tool. And then this would be where you would put your pistols. I find it a little complicated to actually fit pistols in here. Uh, I am currently running a full size. It's easier to get the pistol in and out if the whole bag is open. But I am running a full size in here. It is not loaded, as you can see. Nothing there. Uh, but I am running a full size. And it does fit. However... It is a little tight. And then putting another one on this side would prove difficult just based on how the layout of the bag is in the bottom sections with your rifle compartment. So you could probably run something small here like a Hellcat or something similar to that, to that footprint, but I find it a little difficult if you wanted to run multiple full sizes. So. We'll go ahead and open this. It's got a Velcro handle strap, a couple of clips. And then this is clamshelled to make it a little bit easier. So, this is what I have in mind. I am looking to build a 300 blackout to fit this better, but I currently just have a Panzer Arms uh, EGX 500 in here again not loaded you can see box area is empty and then a pumpy so that's again unloaded i'm not even going to handle it so nobody gets anything but that takes up the good size of the footprint allowed in here whereas you can see i have a ton of room on this side for this so it's a little compact this is what makes it hard to run that second pistol for me is how that setup is there so we'll move to the back because there is some storage options on the back now this is a pass through you can go all the way through here and then all i have here is a 10 round mag for my box fed shotgun that's all i have there but this is a full pass through you can use it for extra storage or anything like that and then you do have single carry handles if you wanted to carry it over your shoulder instead of with your straps like this overall i do like it the only complaint that i do have personally would be the ammo set situation there's not a lot of room for ammo although you could get extra pouches to attach through your m-lock here which i do have as well i have the save your equipment loose ammo bags uh, but you could put M-Lock pouches in this section for extra ammo. 
could pack ammo here as well. And of course you could just load down your mags if you wanted to do that. So with that said, I'm pretty sure this was around, I want to say 80 bucks. So it's not terribly priced for what you're getting. So that's my review or at least overview of this uh, Urban Tactical Warfare bag. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.